Let's do an example where we calculate the confidence interval for a population variance when the population is normally distributed. Here's the problem. Suppose that an employee's commute time to work is normally distributed with a mean of 40 minutes but an unknown standard deviation. In an effort to estimate the standard deviation of the commute time, a random sample of 20 commute days yielded a sample standard deviation of 8 minutes. We are to compute the 90% confidence interval for the population standard deviation of the commute time. The 90% confidence interval for a population standard deviation is given by the square root of the quantity n minus 1 times the sample variance divided by a chi-squared critical value, and the upper bound of the confidence interval is the quantity n minus 1 times the sample variance divided by another chi-squared critical value. In this problem, n is equal to 20. We took 20 commute days, and that's our sample size. Our sample variance is equal to the sample standard deviation squared, so it's 8 squared is 64 minutes squared. We still need to find our two critical values used to compute the confidence interval. Let's do that now. First of all, we need to know what distribution we are dealing with. Our sample size was 20, so the sampling distribution that we are working with is a chi-squared n minus 1 or a chi-squared 19 distribution. We want to know what our upper and lower critical values are. We are computing a 90% confidence interval. That means we want to have 90% of the area of this chi-squared distribution between our two critical values. How much does that leave for the two, the two tails? That leaves 10% for the two tails. Because we want equal amount in each tail, that leaves 5% for the upper tail and 5% for the lower tail. Let's go to the chi-squared distribution table to find those critical values. We know we need to look in the row with degrees of freedom 19, because that's the sampling distribution we are using. We want to find the critical value that has 5% of the area to the right, so we look at 5% in the top row, and that corresponds to a critical value of 30.14. The lower critical value has 95% area to the right, so for degrees of 19, we go to 95%, and that's associated with a critical value of 10.12. So our two critical values are 30.14 and 10.12. Let's go back to our problem now. So plugging in all of our values, we know that our 90% confidence interval for sigma will be the square root of n minus 1, which is 19, times the sample variance, which is 64, divided by the upper critical value of 30.14 square root. The upper bound on the confidence interval will be the square root of 19 times 64, divided by the lower critical value of 10.12. That turns out to be 6.35 is our lower bound of the confidence interval, and 10.96 is the upper bound. We finish the problem by saying, I am 90% confident that the true standard deviation of the employee's commute time is between 6.35 minutes and 10.96 minutes, and our confidence interval problem is complete.